Hi guys, welcome back to Shouting Electronics. We've got a new patient on the workbench today, this DeVault DCD778 18 volt cordless drilling machine. Now, let's take a look at what the problem was. This thing did take a fall the other day, and after the fall it worked fine for about half an hour or so, and then all of a sudden, as soon as you were drilling, it would stop and it would just basically blink that light there. Now and then it would turn for a bit and then stop and blink the light. Also found out if you turned off the hammer action and just turn off the hammer there, the impact, and turn it to normal, it would work a bit longer before stopping. Now, from my experience with this drilling machine, when it flashes that light just once like that, it either means the battery is too flat to turn the motor, or that there's something mechanical that's actually stalled it, so it's just giving an overcurrent warning. So what I did is, when it stopped working like this, I went to the supplier and I tried my battery in one of their drilling machines just to confirm that my battery and the charger are fine. Both my batteries are fine. So there's a problem with the drilling machine itself. So they wanted to sell me a new one for 1,600 Rand just for the drill without the batteries and chargers. I told them let me take a look first and see what I can do with this one. Now I've already taken off the screws, I've taken out the screws off camera. So that's one less thing to do, so let's pop the thing open. Okay, so let's pop it open. There we go. Okay, now as you can see from the basics there, it's all potted in this waxy type rubbery stuff, so that doesn't help as much. Let's hook up the battery. It's still giving us the light, okay. I'm not turning, and as I say, this battery is good. Let's take a voltmeter. Hope you can see it there, DC volts. I'm going to go on the altitude terminals of the battery, which is the high current terminals. Which is basically the terminals for all the cells. Okay, 20.4. Now, if there is a stall or something that's causing this thing to cut out on the current protection, we should see that drop as soon as I pull the trigger. Nothing. Okay, so that means that it's not drawing too much from the battery and definitely nothing with the battery. Take the battery out and we're going to start taking a look at the drill itself and how it operates. Okay, so you've got your terminals over here, your two terminals for your main current and those are either balancing terminals or those are maybe a sensor or something. Okay, then we've got our capacitors, we've got this whole nice little section here. Got our switch, our trigger, with our forward reverse switch over here. We've got some nice beefy wires going into the, tr into the motor. This is a brushless motor. And if you look at the back, we've got a whole bunch of thin wires over here that might be an encoder so let's try something put this back still the same now this connector looks a bit loose on the back here let's just try put that in and there we go No, oh, that's fine. So in other words, it was just this connector that had worked itself loose when it fell. So let me put this back together and we'll try it one more time. Now let's do a nice little test. That's what happens when you drill into a magnet. So I hope you enjoyed this actually very quick, very easy repair video that saved me 1,600 Rand. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the like button. 
hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload new videos.